So the next stage is going to be to fill in the loop section. The first element of this is to replace this put code here statement with a line of code to check for a button press. Now that should be relatively straightforward. If you can't remember how to do it, look back at the section of the course when we dealt with inputs and notice that the open squiggly bracket that normally is associated with that line of code is already provided here for you, along with the closed squiggly bracket that corresponds to it. That's so that we could run and test this program without having to have replaced that line of code. So once you've replaced that code with a single line of code to check for a button press, the next thing that we're going to do is work on the roll the die section. So if we scroll down, here is our procedure. Roll. Now rolling the die is going to display all of the numbers from one to six over and over again a set number of times. Now rolling the die is going to simply display the numbers one to six, one at a time, and do that a certain number of times. Now we've already written a program that displays the numbers from one to six. And in actual fact, we wrote a custom routine called display number to display any number that was passed to it as a parameter. And you'll see that there is a space here for us to fill in that display number procedure in this program as well. So the next stage is going to be to populate the display number procedure with the code that you've already written. Then when you've done that, fill the role routine with your code that displayed the numbers from one to six. If you're feeling really clever, you might think about how you could minimize the number of lines of code required to do this using a for loop. 